In this demonstration, I will show you how to draw and model in a 3D environment. I will also show you how to apply AutoCAD's User Coordinate System, or UCS, to expedite drawing in 3D space. As you create geometry in 3D, you will need to add an additional direction to your drawing, the z-axis. The z-axis runs perpendicular to the xy plane. Now when you call out a point, it requires three coordinates. As before, your x and y coordinates locate a point on the xy plane, but now you must provide a z-coordinate to determine how far away your point is from the xy plane, above or below. The UCS is a persistent on-screen tool enabling you to quickly establish the orientation of your x, y, and z axes. You can see it here in the bottom left corner of my screen, with the axes labeled and color-coded. You can easily move and rotate the UCS to establish your desired origin point and x, y, and z directions. Currently, my UCS is oriented such that my model is lying flat in the x, y plane. Using the dynamic UCS, AutoCAD automatically orients my axes with this angled face, as shown by my cursor. Now this face temporarily acts as my XY plane. When I pick a point and draw my circle, the circle lies in my new XY plane. With the command complete, the UCS returns to its previous orientation. Now I'll use my circular profile to create a 3D feature on my model. To make more permanent changes to the UCS, I will take advantage of its many options. First, I want to make the corner point of my model the origin for my UCS, and make the top surface the XY plane. As I pick points, you can see they are in this new XY plane. When a point and surface are not available or convenient, the UCS can be oriented by specifying a new origin and calling out specific points to determine the direction of the x, y, and z axes. Here, since I want a rib to run between the two cylinders, I will use the features on the cylinder to reorient my UCS. This process is much easier than drawing or modeling an object in one plane and then trying to move and rotate my object to get it aligned correctly at another location on my drawing. If you think you may need a current UCS orientation frequently, you can give it a descriptive name and save it for later use. This is very convenient since reorienting the UCS can involve changing your viewpoint and picking several points. Instead, you can display the UCS dialog, pick a saved orientation, and continue drawing. Working in three dimensions requires manipulating the UCS on a regular basis. However, each time you change your UCS, you will be establishing the current X, Y, and Z directions in your mind, an essential part of designing in 3D.